Good morning. And welcome to Sunday, July 11th, 2021. Now, I'm just making this video because this girl is amazing. Um, I um, had introduced Sushi to you. She's still in the sleepover, 30-day period sleepover testing um, time for me. She was spayed and looks like she's healing up beautifully. And she was also microchipped. She's a 10-month-old lab retriever Italian greyhound. Boy, I see that greyhound in her. She just wants to take off. But right now, I'm eating and she's not whining. She's learned to not to look away. She's, she's a quick learner. Now, she's very stubborn. Um, and she's very challenging, but that comes with the territory. She's 10 months old um, According to what they said and um, There she is so calmly She's only 10 months old and it's normal for a puppy to react and I can um, bring This down and she won't react. She will just leave it. You see you See she's not reacting Good job and she knows and um it took a you know just very little bit of exercise to teach her that to leave it and um so i'm still working on it she's walking really well on a leash um i walk her on i walk both my dogs michaela um my already trained service dog this one if she makes it she'll be a potential candidate hopefully right now we're doing tests and she will uh, begin her training and assessment on the 17th assessment and obedience training and then it will be um, it'll follow every first and third Saturday um, Lord willing I'm so excited about that um, and to get a little further ahead I've been practicing the different exercises like this and sit and she's doing a very nice sit um, for the age she is you know and for the breed because she's very uh wiggly jump jumpy but she's very controlled you know she learns quick you know not to be overly she's like just uh right so far and um <laughs> she's so cute <laughs> she's very loving and affectionate and um i walked her individually she did a good nice walk right by my side um just about i would say like a heel but we haven't practiced it to make it originally a heel so i can't really call it that yet um and she also um she walks by the uh, by the side of michaela i walked them both only on one side which is always the left side that i've trained michaela on and so i've trained also sushi is being trained to walk on my left side and sushi walks closer to me to my side on my left she's next to my leg because she's the one that's training Michaela's already trained so Michaela has a nice walk beside her they respect each other's space um, except Instead of Michaela that's been here for a while, it is Sushi that's competing with Michaela and the competition begins the moment I get up with me and with Michaela. So it's like on my toes all day long, um, watching and looking at her. She keeps stepping on my foot on purpose. She lifts her paw up very high. It's so dainty looking, you know, that greyhound part of her. And then she sets it down with a hard pressure on my foot every time and she'll try to make it look accidentally and then she'll try her back foot she'll turn around and then she'll try to um kind of put her weight on me she's trying to um be the one to steer me so then what i do is i lightly step on her sometimes i'll take my shoe off sometimes i'll do it with the shoe so both ways of my scent can go back on her and i'll constantly do it every time i catch it she's a sneaky little girl and she does it to me because she lifts up her paw so high. Michaela was lying down. And she just went perfectly on her like this. 
pressed it like that, like pressed it or sent down. <laughs> and then and she keeps trying us both. And Michaela is so patient. Now, Michaela did give her a correctional growl, which I'm glad because she can use that. Because Michaela's very nice and gives her her space and understands that she's a puppy. But she gets all in Michaela's face anytime I'm going to give Michaela attention. So Michaela gave her a rah, growl. You know, like enough. Like chill out. Tone it down. Cool it. Here she is. You can't see it because it's so dark. She's dark. She's a chocolate color, but it looks like she's black with a little hidden brindle, just like Michaela was when she was a ba baby. Um, very similar to, reminds me so much of Michaela. So I'm very excited, and I'll continue giving you more.